Okay. Heavy topic. The truth. Let the truth be known that these people who are eating meat are disguising their habit not behind the very fact that they are eating animals that they are in fact eating meat. This meat could include human meat and has included human meat. It's from my view very barbaric and in modern world probably can be classified as satanic and in the old world as black witchcraft. Bloodthirsty acts of cannibalism, you know, domination and control. Let's have a look over here. You can see far off into the distance over there, a family. Yes, you have no house. But they have infinity. This is their garden, this is their home. They're a family. Would you eat them? Are they just considered meat in your eyes? No. Not mine. Anyway, this is my message to you to ponder for today why one would choose to eat animals. Why one would choose to call it meat eating. Why one would believe that this is an act that is permissible in a world that is uh, beautiful. You know? Why? Why? It leaves me to beg and question why things happen. Now have a look over here. To some, this is lots of plants, it's bush. Others, it's, it's a garden, it's food. Notice there's nothing with blood, flesh claws, eyes, heart. No. No, this is the edible food for us. The one of evolved consciousness. Where we don't kill to provide our nourishment. We live in harmony with nature. The more we grow nature, the more nature grows us. You chop a leg off a horse, or a cow, or a lamb. That leg doesn't grow back. Okay? So, Selective barbarianism, I think I should call it. Carnism, but it's very selective. Oh no, we won't eat little Indy the Pussycat. We won't eat George the Dog. No, they're our friends, they're our family. Oh no, we won't eat salad. Let's go and buy a styrofoam container with some dead animal in it, some parsley on top, and some wrap to keep it fresh. You know, we, we don't want our dead animal to go off. We don't want to get sick from our dead animal. Strange. When other human beings live off flowers and herbs, 